What are the things that you should never hide from your cruise line? Hi, I'm Gary Bemidge. This is another of my tips for travelers. I'm going to tell you nine things that you should never hide from the cruise line when you're going on a cruise, starting with this one. Food allergies or needs, whether it's religious, health or otherwise. Most cruise lines require some notification before you get on the cruise of any issues you've got. So some cruise lines, for example, if you want kosher or halal, they might need 45 to 90 days warning in order to be able to cater for you properly. If you have any really serious allergies, for example, nut allergies, which could be pretty catastrophic, really important that you make sure at least 45 days to 90 days kind of about the time when you're paying your final balance that your travel agent or your cruise line, whoever you're dealing with, knows about your needs. Very important, particularly as you go on smaller ships or even right down to barge cruises where they're buying food at a much shorter time period and they need to make sure if there are any real important food allergies or needs. And particularly if they are religious because whilst most cruise lines now have vegan menus, nut-free menus, vegetarian menus, they don't have many of the more specialized religious type needs. The next one is something that people are tempted to do, and that's if you have any gastroenteritis type issues, you know, vomiting, diarrhea, whatever. Now, when you get on board a ship, you normally have to fill out a health declaration whether you've had any of these issues in the 48 hours in the run-up to the cruise. Lots of people who are suffering are tempted not to because they're worried about the consequences. However, there is a risk if you bring it on board that the ship could go down with norovirus and you could have much more serious effects. I've actually been on cruises where norovirus broke out. In fact, it was so bad and it spread so widely that the cruise was actually cut short. And it was kind of frustrating knowing that people had probably come on board knowing that they weren't 100% well. So if you do have it, declare it when you go in. You'll meet with the nurse or the doctor and they will decide if perhaps you need to be quarantined for a couple of days or not. Very importantly also, if it starts happening on a cruise, let the medical center know. What they ask you to do if you do suffer from vomiting and diarrhea and it's clearly quite serious is you normally just phone the medical center. They don't charge you for any of the medical consultations or if they give you things like a modium or whatever to deal with it. But very important to help everybody else on the ship. If you are suffering with any of those issues, make sure you tell the cruise line and don't hide it from them. The next series of things I want to talk about are related to kids and pregnancy. So the first thing that you should never hide from your cruise line is if you are pregnant. Most cruise lines have a policy where if you're more than 24 weeks pregnant, you can't cruise. And this is particularly true of ocean cruises. If you're a little bit over that and you want to go cruising, take a look at river cruises because they tend to have slightly more relaxed rules because, of course, River cruise boats are always close to shore and so if for any reason you go into early labor or whatever, they can normally deal with it. But don't hide your pregnancy because you don't want to you know, arrive to check in, people notice you're pregnant, they give you a hard time and won't let you on board. So 24 weeks is normally the cutoff period. The next thing not to hide is if you're traveling with kids, particularly kids under 18 or under 16, is making sure the cruise line knows what the sleeping arrangements are going to be. Now, very importantly, check with your cruise line what their rules are. So some cruise lines, for example, will not let kids under 16 be in a stateroom or a cabin by themselves. Some are more relaxed and they will allow that if there is obviously parents traveling with them, people over 18 traveling with them, and they're either in an adjoining cabin or in a nearby cabin. Other cruise lines are much more relaxed and as long as there is an adult, they don't have those rules. But the rules differ quite a lot. Some cruise lines, for example, when you book, you're gonna to have to make sure that if there are two parents, for example, one parent and one child under the age of 16 is booked into one stateroom, one child and one parent age over 18 is in another stateroom. So you need to make sure that you check the rules and the cruise line understands what the sleeping arrangements are. Clearly they want to get you on board and they will work with you to make sure it works. So for example, they might arrange an adjoining cabin or might find a family cabin for you. But very important, make sure you understand the rules because you don't want to get caught out if you're on the cruise and start having problems. The next point is also around kids and this is if you have kids with any special needs or behavioral issues or things that are very specific to them, make sure the cruise line understands those, particularly if you're going to leave your kids in the kids clubs. Also, if your kid does have any special needs or issues, check which is the best cruise line to cruise with. So for example, Royal Caribbean actually do have various programs within the kids 
programs that deal with kids on the autism spectrum. So there are specific toys and activities to deal with those kids. So don't just take your kids along, not let them understand what the issues are and really understand if your kids you know, react to certain things, behave in a certain way, and particularly if they have special needs. Really important you do that. So the sixth thing you shouldn't hide from the cruise line is if you have any mobility issues. Really important before you go on a cruise, if you do have issues that the cruise line knows. Also make sure that you've booked an accessible cabin if that's what you need. This is really important, particularly if there's an emergency on board. So if you are going to need help getting to the muster station, if there's a problem, really make sure that the cruise line understands because they will make arrangements. Even if you can't walk down many flights of stairs, let the cruise line know. Don't hide it. Because if an emergency happens, of course, the elevators, the lifts are out of service. If you do also have mobility issues, work with the cruise line to make sure that you have the right facilities on board. Now, this may mean that you have to hire your own equipment. And there are a number of specialist companies that you can work with that partner with the cruise lines that will deliver any items you need to the cruise ship and they will be installed in your cabin. So, for example, there are companies like special needs at sea.com, mobility at sea.co.uk and scooterround.com. Cruise lines have different rules around, for example, the type of wheelchairs or mobility scooters you can bring on board. Cruise lines also will not provide any services to help you get around. So whilst you'll often find you might get some help with a wheelchair onto the ship, that's normally done port side. The ship won't send out people with you to go on excursions if you need an escort or you need someone to push the wheelchair in almost all cases. So really important to understand that. Also, if the cruise line knows, they can also guide you towards excursions that are gonna work for people with mobility or other issues. But don't hide mobility issues from the cruise line critically important if there's an emergency they need to know what help you're going to need if that happens i know it's unlikely but really important don't hide it so you aren't at risk in an emergency the next thing that you shouldn't hide from the cruise line is if you're bringing on board any items which fall into their restricted list cruise lines have different rules and regulations which you should check but the main things to think about are they won't allow on board flammable items you know things like candles or incense burners Items with a heating element, some cruise lines will allow, for example, curling tongs, some won't, so check if that's the case. If you're bringing on board alcohol or any other kind of drink, cruise lines have different regulations around that. Also, very importantly, remote control devices. So for example, I have a drone, but very few cruise lines actually let me bring it on board, or they have very strict regulations about handing it over to security when you get on board. But that applies equally if you've got kids and they have little remote controlled helicopters or cars or things like that. Also, you're not allowed to bring on board any weapons, whether they're real weapons, so guns, for example, or things that are replica weapons, or even things that could look or be used as a weapon, like you know, baseball bats. I have a whole video about this if you want to find out more about that. But don't hide those things because they are screened. And in many cases, you can work with the cruise line and they might take them away from you and let you fetch them when you go in port to use them. So using the example of the drone, some cruise lines ask you to hand that to security. They keep it at the point where you check on and off the ship. And when I get off in a port, they then let me take it off, do the drone filming, and I hand it back. So that you can come to some kind of arrangement by not hiding it from the cruise line. If you hide that, they would basically just confiscate the drone until the end of the cruise. The same applies to some of the other items. The next area not to hide is if you have any medical issues or particularly drugs you're taking. Now this becomes really important depending on where you're cruising to. So for example, even things like tamazepam or products with codeine, if you're cruising into the United Arab Emirates and particularly if you're disembarking there, is a real issue because those are banned. Also, if you're heading to places like Japan, even some fairly innocuous things like Tylenol, arthritis medication or even Sudafed become issues. So if you are taking any particular prescription drugs or medication that you think could be an issue, make sure the cruise line knows about those. And that's particularly as you head into some areas where things like medical marijuana is being prescribed. Make sure your cruise line understands if you've got any specific medications that you think could prove illegal or some issues within the use on the cruise line or even in certain of the ports. Now, some cruise lines and depending on where you're cruising, could be even stricter. So if you're heading to places like the Arctic or Antarctica, more remote places where there aren't easy ways of getting off the ship, most of those cruise lines that head there require you also to declare all of your 
medical history or issues that you may have. So they can assess whether it's safe for you to travel to that area where they can't disembark you or evacuate you if you have an issue. So again, don't hide those things because you don't want to fall into a terrible situation where a problem you have blows up and the cruise line can't do anything about it. The last one might surprise you, but if you're planning to take photographs or make videos, which you're gonna post on things like YouTube, so for example, what I do, make sure the cruise line understands that you're gonna be doing that. Now, the cruise contract allows them to take photographs and videos and use them, but actually it is more restrictive on what you can do. So whenever I go on a cruise line, if I know that I'm going to be making a video about the ship or shooting stuff to use in my vlogs here, I will normally contact the cruise line directly or through the PR company if I'm going by myself or if they're hosting on a trip, I make sure that they understand it. It's always a really important idea to do. I do know people that have been on cruises and they've had particularly fancy equipment and they have been challenged about video and stopped videoing making their vlogs. So very important, it's quite easy to do. The cruise line is pretty relaxed about it normally if they know what you're doing. So don't hide it from the cruise line you're doing it, just let them know. Even if when you're on board, just talk to the cruise director or the hotel manager or someone like that and just say, look, by the way, I've got a YouTube channel, here's my card. I'm gonna be making videos for it and off you go. It's better to do that than fall into a problem later. So those are nine things that you should not hide from the cruise line to make sure that you have a really smooth cruise. Hope you found it helpful. I have loads more videos of cruising advice and tips. So why don't you watch another one of those right now?